This video will cover moderate questions regarding the topic of derivatives of exponential functions. Question 1. d dx of e to the power of x equals e to the power of x. Think of it as d dx of e to the power of u equals e to the power of u times u prime. Then y prime equals e to the power of x cubed minus 2x times x cubed minus 2x prime equals e to the power of x cubed minus 2x times 3x squared minus 2. Question 2. Using the product rule, y prime equals cosine squared of x prime times 2 to the power of x plus cosine squared x times 2 to the power of x prime equals 2 cosine x times cosine x prime times 2 to the power of x plus cosine squared x times 2 to the power of x times ln 2 equals 2 cosine of x times cosine x prime is minus sine of x times 2 to the power of x plus cosine squared x times 2 to the power of x times ln 2. Using the trigonometric identity, sine of 2x equals 2 sine of x times cosine of x. Then back to here, minus 2 sine of x times cosine of x is sine 2x times 2 to the power of x plus cosine squared x times 2 to the power of x times ln 2 equals, we can factor, take out 2 to the power of x, then 2 to the power of x times ln 2 cosine squared of x minus sine 2x. Question 3, d dx of e to the power of u equals e to the power of u times u prime, then y prime equals e to the power of x times ln x times x times ln x prime equals e to the power of x ln x times, using the product rule, x prime times ln x plus x times ln x prime equals e to the power of x ln x times x prime is 1, then ln x plus x times ln x prime is 1 over x. The final answer is e to the power of x ln x times ln x plus 1. Question 4. Using this, y prime equals e to the power of sine of square root of x times sine of square root of x prime equals e to the power of sine square root of x times cosine square root of x times square root of x prime. The final answer is e to the power of sine of square root of x times cosine of square root of x times 1 over 2 square root of x. Question 5. d dx of a to the power of x equals a to the power of x times ln a. Think of it as d dx of a to the power of u equals a to the power of u times ln a times u prime. Then y prime equals 7 to the power of square root of sine of x times ln 7 times square root of sine of x prime equals 7 to the power of square root of sine of x times ln 7 d dx of square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x or square root of x prime equals x to the power of 1 over 2 prime equals 1 over 2 x to the power of minus 1 over 2. Then we can rewrite as 1 over 2 square root of x 
So, we can think of d dx of square root of u equals 1 over 2 square root of u times u prime. Then back to the original, this part is u, then 1 over 2 square root of sine of x times sine of x prime equals 7 to the power of square root of sine of x times ln 7 times 1 over 2 square root of sine of x times cosine of x. The final answer is ln 7 times cosine of x times 7 to the power of square root of sine of x over 2 square root of sine of x. Question 6. Using the product rule, y prime equals 3 to the power of minus x over 2 prime times cosine of 2x plus 3 to the power of minus x over 2 times cosine of 2x prime equals d dx of a to the power of u equals a to the power of u times ln a times u prime. So this is u part. Then 3 to the power of minus x over 2 times ln 3 times minus x over 2 prime times cosine of 2x plus 3 to the power of minus x over 2 times minus the sine of 2x times 2x prime using the chain rule equals 3 to the power of minus x over 2 times ln 3 times minus 1 over 2 cosine of 2x minus 3 to the power of minus x over 2 times sine of 2x times 2. Then you can factor minus 1 over 2 times 3 to the power of minus x over 2 times ln 3 cosine of 2x plus 4 sine of 2x. Question 7. d dx of 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of x ln 5. Then think of it as d dx of 5 to the power of u equals 5 to the power of u ln 5 times u prime. Then this is the inner function of u. Then y prime equals 5 to the power of cosine of tangent of x times ln 5 times cosine of tangent of x prime equals 5 to the power of cosine of tangent of x times ln 5 times d dx of cosine of x equals minus sine of x then d dx of cosine of u equals minus the sine of u times u prime. Then back to the original, this is the u part. Then minus the sine of tangent of x times tangent of x prime equals minus ln 5 times the sine of tangent of x times 5 to the power of cosine of tangent of x times secant squared of x. Question 8. Using the quotient rule, y prime equals x cubed prime times 2 to the power of x cubed minus x cubed times 2 to the power of x cubed prime over 2 to the power of x cubed squared equals 3x squared times 2 to the power of x cubed minus x cubed times d dx of 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of x times ln 2. Think of it as d dx of 2 to the power of u equals 2 to the power of u times ln 2 times u prime. So, back to the original, 2 to the power of x cubed times ln 2 times 
execute prime over 2 to the power of x cubed squared then cancel the common part after that 3x squared minus x cubed times ln 2 times x cubed prime is 3x squared over 2 to the power of x cubed then you can factor take out 3x squared then 1 minus x cubed ln 2 over 2 to the power of x cubed this is the last one f of 1 equals e to the power of 1 over 1 squared equals e that means the tangent line passes through the point 1 comma e f of prime of x equals using the quotient rule e to the power of x prime times x squared minus e to the power of x times x squared prime over x squared squared equals e to the power of x times x squared minus e to the power of x times 2x over x to the power of 4 then divide by x on each side equals e to the power of x times x minus 2 times x to the power of x over x cubed we can factor e to the power of x times x minus 2 over x cubed then f prime of 1 equals e to the power of 1 times 1 minus 2 over 1 cubed equals minus e that means the slope of the tangent line at 1 comma e equals minus e then y minus y1 equals slope times x minus x1 then y minus e equals minus e times x minus 1 or y minus e equals minus e x plus e then y equals minus e x plus 2 e I hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions read them in a comment below and I will address them in a future video thank you for watching Please like and subscribe for more.